Sure. Uh, so my name is Craig. I uh, am the Global Relations Director over mm -hmm. at V Systems, and I've uh, been involved in blockchain uh, for about uh, well for about a couple years now. Um, I started out with a project called Hub in Silicon Valley, uh, which was founded by the uh, co-founder of LinkedIn, and then um, I uh, also uh, have experience with uh, the Litecoin Foundation as well, and now I'm uh, starting with vSystems, so I'm really happy to, to keep my career going here. <laughs> right. Thank you. Uh, what about you, Dr. Alex? Sure. Uh, thank you, Stephen. Mm. Yeah, name is Alex. Uh, I'm a CEO of vSystem. I joined the VC uh, uh, last year, and uh, I was your investor and uh, then converted myself as CEO. Before that, I was uh, uh, in the financial industry. I had uh, 12 years in the uh, investment bank, like UBS, Nomura. I was a trader there, and then I started my own uh, virtual capitals with like more than 30 um, startups in my portfolio, and uh, most of them are doing well. And uh, this system is a native blockchain that is uh, <coughs> try to build an uh, infrastructure for the DAP uh, developers. Mm -hmm. So we have our slogan as uh, re-architect uh, blockchain and uh, decentralized finance. So we consider ourselves very uh, friendly to the financial industry. We mm -hmm. want to make a smart contract that will be used by all the uh, financial, the current uh, developers to try to make some change on the financial field. And uh, that's who we are. Sure. So uh, Sunny King was uh, obviously a, a very legendary blockchain developer mm -hmm. who developed POS uh, consensus mechanism with uh, PureCoin, mm -hmm. and then uh, this is uh, his his third project is is more of a um, a DPOS type uh, type project, except uh, it it's uh, a little bit different, uh, and it's it's called an SPOS project. So the uh, Alex, do you want to? Sure. Maybe. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> so as Craig mentioned, right, Sunny is a, a legendary uh, developer in the early days of blockchain. Mm -hmm. He inspired many people, like uh, even Vitalik. Mm -hmm. So Vitalik called him the single most original altcoin developer out there. Okay. Yeah. So, but in his previous work in uh, PureCoin and Proofcoin, both of the works are excellent ones. They, mm -hmm. they used to be ranked top ten in the world for PureCoin was top three. Right. And this time, with uh, his return on the system, we try to make uh, not only just a currency, but more like an infrastructure platform. So right. we will have our own currency, of course, our own coins, but we will also have our uh, smart contract that enable others to build a project on top. And we will have a decentralized database so mm -hmm. that people wouldn't worry too much how to put their data on, uh, their data on the on chain. So right. that's where we're, um, we're trying to build for. Sure, um, I'll give it a try. So mm -hmm. the <coughs> proof of stake mm -hmm. was originally uh, designed by Sunny King and implemented in the PureCon. Right. And uh, this time, we, uh, Sunny King came up with this uh, next generation of consensus, which is called a SuperNode proof of stake. So in order to make the uh, <coughs> the the, uh, the blockchain more scalable, more efficient, he come up with that uh, each block will be minted by one super nodes. It's I think he pretty much got some inspiration from the mining pool of uh, Bitcoin. So right now, when one of Bitcoin is considered as the most decentralized uh, blockchain out there, <coughs> however, we all know that Bitcoin was dominated by a few uh, mining pools, right? So right. instead of, uh, you know, try to have a, a good pool of uh, miners, he think for the uh, proof of stake, we might start with a few super nodes that will do the job more efficiently. And, but the way he designed it is also will enable each coin holder still able to enjoy the minting reward. Mm -hmm. So still keep the majority of the proof of stake uh, um, benefits, but uh, make it more scalable and more efficient. Sure, yeah, I can take that. Um, so the, the SPOS minting system is designed to, uh, so how, how it works is that there's a, uh, a group of super notes. Right now we have 15, uh, it will scale to 30 and then 60. Mm -hmm. um, and 
each uh, coin holder will take their coins and uh, delegate them or, or stake them, we call it leasing, to the, uh, to the super node. That super node then uh, retains their minting rights and, those, uh, and then can produce blocks on the blockchain. And uh, when they produce the blocks, obviously there's a reward and that reward goes back to the super node and they only keep about 20% of it. Uh, a majority of the reward actually goes straight back to the coin holders. So they get about 80%, 80% uh, which turns out to be about a 17% ROI for, for the coin holder themselves. Okay, that uh, is uh, taken care of. Even, you know, half of them offline or still can keep our blockchain ongoing very safely. As long as there are still loads, if they can do their job, first of all, all these super loads have one, you know, full load mm -hmm. as a backup. If there's a malfunction, the backup will come up and do the job. Mm -hmm. If both of them happen to fail, then the next uh, super nodes will actually find out and uh, do and uh, keep the blockchain going. So there's no problem that we can keep it going in a regular basis. Mm -hmm. And uh, it has been live since not end of last year and it has never been stopped once. Sure, um, our smart contract to begin, to begin with is not uh, a Turing complete. We don't think it's necessary to make it for everyone. We're gonna tailor made it for you know for the uh, financial de uh, decentralized financial developers to to uh, be able to generate uh, tokens with an open book, meaning they can have an upper limit for their token, the size of a token, and they don't have to use for everything they want, and they can for any time they can actually buy back and destroy the token. So that's the number one feature. Number two, we support a split and a reverse split. Meaning, if the token price too expensive, just like a Bitcoin price, yeah. right? It scare people from buying one. Then you can split or you one token into ten, so you, or into one hundred. So the price was looks more uh, friendly. Mm -hmm. Just like what people did on Nasdaq for Apple stocks, uh, or if your token price goes to a very junk price, then you can aggregate, aggregate ten into one or hundred into one. So you can normalize your price that will come back as a normal normal one. So mm -hmm. that kind of split and reverse split will support. So you can see we'll make it a very, uh, very much friendly for what they practice in the financial uh, field. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the in the com you mentioned our roadmap in the coming uh, uh, release. So we're gonna release super uh, super uh, uh, smart contract in the coming months. But in the coming uh, year, we're gonna build our smart contract. Uh, more uh, like uh, uh, with more functions like uh, uh, deposit account, uh, contractual, you know, functional, uh, you know, the contracts can call each other, mm -hmm. and uh, we will go also build uh, like uh, sidechain and uh, um, you know, um, cross yeah, crossing uh, when the ecosystem system starts to pick up, mm -hmm. and uh, on the other hand, we always wanted to build a decentralized database, so yeah. the developers don't have to worry about how to store or read or write into the data on chain. And we're also gonna support indexing and sorting mm -hmm. of uh, data on the blockchain, sort of like a Google on blockchain. Yeah, the, the logic is yeah. like this. So when Apple price, mm -hmm. when the stock of Apple goes to like 500 US dollars, yeah. that will make us psychologically hard for people to buy one. Just like a Bitcoin, when you told people, tell, told people that uh, Bitcoin price is less than US dollars, it's well, it's too expensive. So there were proposals that uh, people want to make a Bitcoin in another units. Uh. But so here we try to do the similar practice as what they have done for Apple stock. Mm -hmm. So you split one stock into ten, so make the price looks more feminine, you know, more 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 friendly. Okay. So people will start to you know look into that, uh, you know, they they actually do something, you know, <clears throat> about it instead of be scared away. So that's not going to change the fundamental of the tokens. It's just a way they practice mm -hmm. that people use it on the stock market. Mm -hmm. the, the market for Bitcoin is about um, uh, 90 billion or 80 billion, something like that. Yeah. Uh, but to replicate the hash power for Bitcoin, gonna cost you about uh, 7 billion. Mm -hmm. So about 10% of the Bitcoin's market mm -hmm. 
you can by all the miners, you know, you can put all the miners together then to my have a 51% attack, have a chance to attack the POW, uh, you know, Bitcoins. However, you think from the, you know, proof of stake, especially Supernode proof of stake, SPOS, you need to actually at least control half of the Supernodes. Mm -hmm. That you need to buy the coins. When you start to buy the coins, the coin price will go up. Okay. So you need to not only cost you more than half of the current market market. Mm -hmm. When you start to buy the coins, it will make it harder and harder if you buy more. So that eventually will cost more than more than fifty percent of the current market market cap mm -hmm. to to attack to try to attack a proof of stake. So in terms of the market cap percentage, the, the resources you need. Yeah. You know, proof of stake is much more resistant than mm -hmm. proof of W. Mm -hmm. Right. So yeah. uh, I think you explained about like proof of stakes. Yeah. Uh, so how about like SPOS? Sure. Supernodes, Super you know, it uh, has like a 15 community. You can think of it as a community. Right. We have a partnership with uh, like uh, uh, Cobalt Wallet. It's uh -huh. one of the uh, large, largest wallet in China. Mm -hmm. And with Harsh Key. You know, and with ZB.com and uh, Stack US gonna be one, another one, and uh, you know, Hobby uh, yeah. Mining is joining us as well. They're already mm -hmm. on the candidates list. So we'll have a bunch of uh, industry uh, pillars will mm -hmm. join us. So for you, it's not a matter of uh, money, right? It's a matter of uh, their um, they they put your they are serious player in the industry. Mm -hmm. They themselves wouldn't want to uh, room, you know, what we're building here. Mm -hmm. But we don't really count on that, right? What really matters is still, in the end of the day, is the staking. So mm -hmm. they will put another layer of this trust, mm -hmm. you know, to as a super loads. You, you need to behave, um, uh, you need to behave accordingly. So if you don't, then we, we, our super nodes have this content policy. Unlike uh, DPoS, later on maybe Google will go over about it. So it's like, uh, <clears throat> You can pick. You can pick one of the super nodes mm -hmm. to contend him one on one. Instead of candidate. yeah candidate, you can com compete him one on one. Unlike like a um, DPoS, okay. it's purely by the size of the votes. Mm -hmm. So if you think the top player, the top staked uh, player is be misbehave. In order to get him out of the whole league, mm -hmm. you need to you know get uh, twenty one people before, uh, 21 nodes uh, before him. Mm. That's ex extremely hard. Unlike mm. here, we just, just need to get one out of the game. But for them, you need to get a lot of people below him out of the game. So, okay. so in you other see, words, like if, you, if you're trying to really um, <coughs> remove somebody from like EOS or something like that, you, you have to kind of work your way up. Now this, even at the top player, you can contend that player if you want to, and then they can get removed, you know. Uh, you just have to have a higher stake, you know, mm -hmm. in the, um, um, and then, you know, contend that unit, and then uh, they will go offline, and then you'll go online. So it's easier anyone to access, so the, the huddle, to become a super node yes. is like lower than mm -hmm. the other uh, platform. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, it's easier to get the misbehavior ones, uh -huh. the malfunction ones, out of the lo uh, super nodes. Yeah. Okay. When, you know, when you get that one out, you leave the rest uh, innocent people untouched. Mm -hmm. So you have less effect to the whole step. So that in that way, you are more stable as a network. Um, so yeah, we did just cover kind of like the the super yeah. node, uh, you know, removal there. Right. That's one of the biggest differences. Um, another one is that you know, so you're um, when you're when you're trying to vote for you know a super node or whatnot, it, it's all one to one instead of you know one to thirty, uh, you know, because you get like say thirty thirty votes, you know, in a block producer setting, mm -hmm. um, and in this you just get one, so you can only go you know one way. And the majority of the return, minting return will be passed by the super load to the coin holder. Correct. Unlike uh, you know BPs, they keep all the re minting uh, rewards. Right. So the the, the the voters even they have the rights to vote, but they, they don't enjoy much from you know out of this uh, minting right. However, for us, the majority of the minting 
reward will go back to the coin holder. Mm -hmm. It's like a really return the minting power to the people. Mm -hmm. I think uh, currently we have about 50,000 uh, 50, users. 50,000? Uh, yes, we have been listed on a few exchanges. Right. Uh, we have our global launch on Bitfinex, then KuCoin, ZB, mm -hmm. BigoGo, uh, Biforest, uh, KuNwo, uh, and a bunch of them. Yeah. Right. And yeah. How many was it? Like eleven? Um, yeah, about eleven, mm -hmm. and there are a few other unnamed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So we um, we're launching the smart contract shortly. So mm -hmm. once that launches, uh, there's going to be also another uh, another D app that's going to be on top of that, mm -hmm. and it's going to be a uh, MTBS uh, or it's Bit MTB or. Bit MBS, sorry, uh, and that is uh, mortgage-backed stablecoin. Um, and Alex, you can probably sure, go a little yeah. bit further into that. But that one is like, uh, as we mentioned, we want to uh, we want to uh, use a technology to try to make a difference on financial industry. So mortgage is definitely our first try. We will make, we will tokenize uh, one of the. It's actually one of the super nodes. You know, they, they, they have this mortgage portfolio mm -hmm. that they will, instead of uh, sell the mortgage portfolio to HSBC, HSBC, the, the, the you know, commercial bank, they can tokenize the mortgage and, uh, and then sell it to the cone holders. So the cone holders will enjoy the interest rate collected from the mortgage mm -hmm. borrower and with the guarantee of the de real estate developer itself. So that's one, one of the, uh, products we're going to build on our uh, smart contract. There are other um, products like uh, insurance, mm -hmm. uh, you know, crowdfunding, um, and uh, uh, FX exchange, mm -hmm. and uh, a lot, uh, a, bun a dozen of others. So all this will actually bring more users to our platform. I'll give you a, a, a number, like uh, the X currency, the uh, uh, FX uh, mm -hmm. monitor app, they have 17 million uh, downloads. So, um, you know, that kind of, uh, we're talking that, that size of users. If we are lucky to convert only 1% of their users to our, um, to be our users, mm -hmm. we're talking about 700,000, so 0.7 million users to be able to adapt to our technology. Mm -hmm. So that's mm -hmm. where we think will be different, uh, differentiate us from other blockchain we will make ourselves uh, really uh, uh, friendly mm -hmm. to the existing app, you, uh, app developers so they can embed, they can integrate our technology to their existing business model to benefit their users. Well, so we're really interested in developing out the Korean market and um, we want to uh, you know, interact and integrate uh, you know, a bunch of different partners. Uh, we're looking for, you know, obviously coin holders, uh, for, uh, you know, partners with wallets, exchanges, uh, and even developers. And um, we're really excited to, uh, you know, kind of bring our, our new staking mechanism to the, uh, to the public. And, and uh, we enjoy, um, or we, we invite everybody to, uh, to join us. Thank yeah, you. so, <clears throat> you know, the, we're our team uh, under Sunny King, and uh, mm -hmm. we have changed the history of blockchain by his work in proof of work. Uh, we have a track record for two very top uh, um, uh, blockchain projects before, and uh, I'm very confident that this system is going to change the history again. And uh, together, we're going to build uh, infrastructure for the blockchain uh, industry for a bright future, and we want uh, you to be part of it. Thank you.